Hello everyone, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk and I'm here today to show you guys how to make these ephemera holders using old photo album holders, photo holders, okay? I know we have some of those laying around, we don't use pictures anymore. Um, so let's get started. To start off, I'm gonna tell you guys I'm kind of aggravated because I just recorded all of this and I recorded it in time lapse. So the video is like super fast. So I have to re-record it. So I'm gonna show you what we got going on here. First, this is this is something that goes over your page in your junk journal, and you can clip it on. And it's a pocket in the front, as well as a pocket in the back. And let me show you real quick what I mean. It just opens up like this and it hangs over your page and you can clip it into your journal, okay? The next ones that I made, they can be pockets or ephemera holders, okay? All they are are little pockets that you can slide ephemera into. Same as over here. Only this one's slanted diagonal and this one's up and down. I didn't sew the side because I found that it's easier to put stuff in if you don't sew it all the way up because it's harder to get inside the pocket from the top. So this just has a few pieces of ephemera in it and they're super cute to send in happy mail to somebody. If you want to make it as a pocket, you can. I'm gonna show you guys how. So let's get started. What you're gonna need is a page out of the album. We're gonna make the first one, which is the hinge. Okay, and what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna cut this down the middle. And I'm going to first cut a little part off the top, except where it was held in by, and it's a little flimsy, because I had to tear the paper. Okay, get that out of the way. Now we have two pieces, and what we're going to do is we're just gonna take some glue. Super easy, super simple. These are probably self-explanatory, actually. But I'm gonna show you guys anyways. We're just gonna put some glue up there, and you're gonna wanna line this up or else it might not be straight, so it's something that has lines. I just got, I had stuff on my hands and I just dyed it where the glue was. Oh well, okay. So we're just gonna push that down. And now I can't take this to my sewing machine, but what you would do is you would take this to your sewing machine and you would sew all the way around it, okay? And then once you sew all the way around it, you would bring it back. And I think I'm gonna fold it this way because that ugliness is on the inside is you would just simply take it and fold it in half. And then you'll have a pocket here. Let me show you guys. And a pocket here. If you wanted to, you could get a piece of paper, you know, put it on top of it, decorate it. You could also decorate it by putting something on the front, making a little collage. So now we're gonna move on. This video is gonna be short and quick and to the point today, okay? So the second one, what we're gonna do is you're gonna have a page, it's gonna look like this. Again, I'm gonna, actually on this one, I'm gonna cut almost all that part off on the top, okay? Remove it. Can you guys see? I'm not in frame, I'm so sorry. Okay, and then we're gonna come and we're just gonna cut this down the middle. So now what we're left with is two pieces. Okay, so what we're gonna do, to just to bring a little bit of more interest to this, it's still stuck together a little bit, is we're gonna take the acetate, the film, whatever you wanna call it, I don't even know the proper terms for it. I've been calling it acetate, but I don't even know if that's the right term. And we're gonna stencil on it real quick. Okay, this just brings a little bit of extra attraction to it, okay? Done. 
done. Flip them over. Done. Done. Okay, this is super easy. I can't sew this because, of course, my sewing machine's in the other room. And you guys, I can't pause this video. I am looking into getting a different camera that I can pause for you guys. Um, but right now, iPhone doesn't have a pause button on their videos. So, it's kind of aggravating, to say the least. But what you would do is you would put it back inside of its film. And you would take it to your sewing machine. And you would just sew all the way around it. On mine, I left one side open. But if you wanted it to just have this pocket in the top, you'd sew all three corners and leave the top open. Okay. On the other one, what I did was I had a slanted um, opening. So what I did was I just took my metal ruler. And what I did was I left a little notch at the top and a little notch at the bottom. And then I took my X-Acto knife, if I can find it, there it is. Ah! Okay, it's nice, I'm dropping stuff. And you're left with the film like this, and you're just gonna put this back in there. And now you have a slanted opening. If you want to make these into pockets, what I suggest doing is sewing this first. So you just sew around. You'd make an L. Okay. And then once it was sewn, let me get the other one real quick that's already made. What I would do is I would come in with my X-Acto knife or scissors and I would just cut along it. And then you'll have paper that can adhere to paper. If not, I'm sure you could use Fabri-Tac and Fabri-Tac would adhere it to it. So super simple, super easy, a seven minute video just to show you guys how to make these again. Um, these would mostly probably be used to send in Happy Mail. They'd be super fun to stuff full of yummy goodness and send to somebody in the mail. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and comment on the video. That helps me out. Also, check out the description below. I have some information there. If you have a video or a tutorial that you would like to see, drop it in the comments. I'm always looking for suggestions and ideas. And I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day.